when I first started 3D printing, it was really challenging for me to keep track of what did I print, when did I print it, because friends would ask me to print stuff for them, and then I wouldn't be able to find it again, and it just was a continual problem. In this video, I'm going to go over my rather simple system that I use to keep track of what I print on my 3D printers. Let's get into it. So here it is, my very simple way that I keep track of all the 3D printed things that I've been printing over the last few years. So you can see all the way back to 2018. I'm rather partial to Thingiverse. It was one of the only places in town, so to speak, uh, back in 2018. So when I printed something, I would grab its Thingiverse link and then just chuck it on this list. And that way I can go back and see where things are. Now, a lot of these files, you know, some of these Thingiverse things aren't there anymore. So I always keep the files themselves. So the STL files that you download from Thingiverse. So here are the files. I recently archived almost all the files because I was finding that this folder was actually getting large enough that it was causing a bit of uh, choking for my file explorer. So I use Synology Drive to sync this with my network storage. And you can kind of see this is where the files are going. But I uh, did a video recently about a YubiKey holder. And here are the, here's the STL file from that and the Slicer 3MF file from the Slicer. And then after that, everything goes into this G-Code folder, which again, I've just archived a lot of it because the thing was starting to choke because this folder was getting quite full and this is how I keep track of things. How do you keep track of things for your 3D printer? I would love to hear if you could drop me a comment below what you use, because this seems like a very primitive way to do this, but it's been working for me for a couple of years. I'd love to hear your thoughts and how you keep track of yours.